Hello, everyone. Welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. And today we will have no nudity in this video. Now, I love the Rider weight cards, and I always go back to them. Even if I have 50 different decks, I always go back to that one. So, you know, until I have time to draw on the naked pictures in that deck, you know what I mean? We're just going to use another deck. Um, what can I say? I'm not going to sit here and just go on and on about that. That's the politics. It happens, right? So we're going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present, and the future. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box below of this video. All right, let's get started. Spirit, please provide me with messages in reference to the recent past. Talk to me about energies surrounding Taurus in the recent past. Who are these people? What are these energies? Talk to me about the recent past. Talk to me about energies for Taurus in the recent past, please. Okay. Tell me more. Tell me more about energies in the recent past for Taurus. What's going on? One more, please. Okay, this wanted to come out. And at the bottom, this is like the Page of Cups, okay? And what this speaks to is someone obviously feeling this way in reference to you. You could be feeling this way in reference to someone, but I feel like with this image coming out here, the feelings are mutual, right? Now, we have somebody in this energy of low vibration, as you can see here, with this Five of Cups energy. And you're coming out here as well, all right, with the Empress. I would show the card, but, you know, she's showing some skin. She's not entirely naked, but she's showing skin. However, I just feel like they're sad over the Empress. I don't know if you are sad over a Libra, a Taurus, or if it's this person being sad and disappointed over you in some way, okay? I feel like this person is watching you Six of Wands energy. So they're watching you be victorious, go and get yours. You're being productive. You're doing what makes you feel good. You're alone while you're doing it at the same time. They're watching that happen, okay? Now let's clarify this person's energy, right? Let's see what's going on with them. Please clarify the five of cups energy here, five of baskets in this deck, but please clarify the five of cups. Why is this person feeling like that? Why is that? Why are they feeling like that? Please talk to me about why they feel this way. Well, so the page of swords in reverse. They want something right now. They don't want to wait anymore, Taurus, okay? I don't know if that has to do with your family member, your friend. I always, always reference to the fact that we're not always talking about love because I have new people coming in to watch me every day. So there's somebody here that's impatient. Who is that person around you? They feel like you're moving on to something and whatever that is, is going to be great and very successful for you with the six of wands being present here. Okay, because the Empress is right next to this Six of Wands. And I was going to say the Prince of Wands for some reason. I have no idea why, but everything that happens here is supposed to, right? I don't like to um, sit here and, and wonder 
uh, why certain words come out, right? For some reason, Prince, you know, go listen to Prince or something. I don't know. Um, let's see what else we have here for this person who doesn't want to go wait, right? They don't want to wait and they don't want to go away. <laughs> Tell me more. The three of coins. Somebody's watching your work. Okay? They're watching it. And they feel like you just want to do this alone, I guess. And while you do this independently, it's like you're becoming a better version of yourself, is what I'm getting here. And we're constantly in evolution. So it's like they want this version of you, is what I'm getting. You're transcending, transforming. They want to be a part of that new you, this new person that they see emerging before them. I just don't know why they feel like they lost it or they don't have it. Tell me more about this person. All right, so this is basically the king of swords energy. They're in a position where if they can't be in control of the situation, then they don't know how to participate. That's part of the problem. And so they want to have authority over something. You may or may not be allowing it, I'm not sure, but they want more control. Or they want their way, you know what I mean? Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present when it comes to this person that Taurus thinks about. Talk to me about the present, please. The Eight of Pentacles. This person, I feel, because most of whoever it is, it's like most of these people know that you're into tarot or maybe some of them, something like that. And they're doing the same thing you're doing, probably going to a reader on you, low key. That's what I see in the present moment. Because, you know, tarot has always been something um, very important in spirituality anciently, right? But I feel like now tarot is finally getting the credit that it always deserved, you know? There's so much stigma against it, but it's usually coming from people that are not educated on tarot, right? So I feel like this person is becoming more spiritual because of you, which is not necessarily a bad thing. You're inspiring them low key, you know? A lot of your discipline comes from being spiritual. That's the big change that you're making. Watching this is actually helping you. This is a form of therapy. It's like turning on your phone, your TV, and having someone to enlighten you. And there's more than one of us, which is even better. I don't believe that there's competition between tarot readers. I just feel like we're all here to help. I also believe that we're all assigned a particular group of people. You know, one tarot reader can't do it all. So I feel like we're all assigned who we're supposed to be working with. 
tell me more about this person. They like what you're doing. I can say that. They definitely do. Whatever it is, keep doing it. Tell me more about the present when it comes to this person. Actually, in my dream last night, there was a man that was actually going to see a tarot reader and he was very conflicted. He was tall, light skin, slim, well, like a caramel complexion. Always wears hats. Smart man, good job. But he was so like conflicted and looking to speak to a reader. We have the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Knives. You see, it's like you make this person want to study or reflect. They're in that position right now. Four of Swords energy. It's like if Taurus did it, I can. I know that I can't have Taurus the way that I want Taurus right now, but that just means that I need to work on myself. That's what I feel like this person is saying, Taurus, and you're teaching them that as the Hierophant. It's like by you saying no, or by you changing the way that you used to give someone attention, they are learning more about their flaws and how our flaws are not a disadvantage. <laughs> That's what makes us unique. We just work with what we have, you know? The Ace of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles. It's like you already know this person wants you. You know that they're into you. Here is your confirmation. <laughs> Absolutely. But I get this energy from them of not being able to acquire your attention. Still, because it's been like this, right? For a couple of weeks or even more. And a Taurus can be like that. We could want you, we could love you, but if you are hindering our progress or if we feel like you're doing that, we'll just cut you off because it's no good for the future, so why bother? And so then in that process, we're basically asking the other person to do better for themselves. And if they happen to get Taurus's attention while they're working on themselves, then so be it. But right now, I just feel like you're letting the cards land where they do. Talk to me about the future. Talk to me about the future when it comes to Taurus and this energy. Please talk to me about the future. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me more about the future for Taurus and this person. I feel, Taurus, that you could be breaking somebody's heart here. I feel like you're telling someone that it's too late, that they no longer have access to you. I feel like if this is about love, there's another option or there will be, especially come October. I feel that you're going to surprise yourself because this may have been someone that you were so captured by to only realize that you're outgrowing them. And they're going to be heartbroken. I see that here with the Three of Swords energy. 
because you're moving on, right? The Ace of Pentacles. And she's looking in that direction. So she's like, I'm gone. I'm leaving here, you know. Seven of Pentacles, somebody regrets it, but sorry, Taurus has to go. Anything else for Taurus? Temperance. They don't want to give up. <laughs> They're not going to give up, okay? They want to keep working. They want to find a solution. Somebody wants to win your attention back, okay? Just understand that this is going to be a persistent energy. This may be someone who was withdrawn for months, and then all of a sudden they're like, wait a minute. You know, Taurus has the number one record on the radio or something like that. And you're going to be like, please, come on, don't, don't. <laughs> you're like, come on, you see right through that shit. You're meant to be in the 10th house right now. Look up what the 10th house in astrology means. A lot of you already know what it means, but you know, for those of you who don't know, it's a time for praise, for accolades, for recognition. And you'll have everybody coming at you from all different directions. That's how you know that you're elevating. Everybody's hitting you up, calling you, wants to see you, wants to spend time. And you're like, damn, I need an assistant. Where's the virtual assistant again, right? Where's, where's she at? Because she's going to have to take care of my text messages, <laughs> right? Or all of the social media platforms. It's just, it's going to get like that. But you deserve it, you know? You deserve it. It's your time. All right, so that's what I have for you. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.